Our top story, the historic vote by the Jefferson County School Board drastically changing bus transportation, which has been guaranteed to students for decades. Tonight, we're detailing what it means for the magnet and traditional students. It came down to a narrow vote in Wednesday night's special school board meeting, and it was a contentious decision between the board and the community. I hate I hated making this and any part of this decision. It just it absolutely crushed me. I mean, this was by far the hardest of my seven years. JCPS says it evaluated 16 different transportation plans, but ultimately landed on the one that would cut transportation to all magnet and traditional schools in the district, except high schools, where 65%, 75% or more of the students qualify for free and reduced lunches. Right now, for the next year, that includes Central and Western high schools. Ian Hardwood spoke with a board member who hopes the change leads to a return of full service in the future. Everything depends on transportation. That's why JCPS board member Linda Duncan wanted to vote on next year's plan soon. It's important so families can decide where to send their kids so hey, schools can figure out their here. staffing based on those students and so the transportation team can finalize routes. As that vote neared, a crowd pleaded the board to halt, including Councilwoman Donna Purvis. And I don't think it's you all board member Chris Cole resisted criticism that the decision came too quickly. Anybody who thinks this vote has been rushed simply has not been paying attention for the last nine months. In a four to three vote, the board approved transportation to traditional and magnet high schools where 75% of students enroll in the free and reduced lunch program. That means central and western high schools will continue getting bus service next school year. Joe Marshall, a board member who called for the special meeting but voted against the plan, told WHAS through a statement, last night's vote by a majority of my colleagues is disappointing. It importantly underlines an increased need for a governance model that allows for increased transparency and community collaboration. JCPS Transportation's own presentation admits the plan still means routes will run late, ending around 6.20 p.m. Currently, they run till 7 p.m. on average. Board member Duncan believes the improvement will draw bus drivers back to the district. She says almost 100 drivers left due to long and complicated routes. And I think a, a simplified plan will be more appealing. And I do hope that as we draw them back, we can add routes. And and hopefully someday be able to get back to what we were doing. Though she admits it was a difficult decision. Nobody is choosing this saying this is the best thing. We know it's not the best, but it's the best that we can come up with with 474 drivers. In Louisville, Ian Hardwit, WHAS 11, on your side. Linda Duncan right there also told us the approved plan includes changes recommended by the independent prismatic audit of the transportation system, like keeping routes regional instead of stretching across Jefferson County.